Dear Pastor Bidemi, Today we celebrate not only your birthday, but also the incredible woman of faith and inspiration that you are. The Bible said Jesus was crucified and they took him and they buried him. And the devil went off and started to have a party. Because as far as he was concerned, the king of glory was done. There was nobody to save mankind anymore. But he didn't realize. If the Bible said if he was wise and he was smart, if he could see beyond his nose, the Bible said he would not have even tried to destroy or to crucify the king of glory. Because what he planted, you see how they said, he said they thought they buried us, but they planted us Nifa. Your dedication to serving God and leading his flock has touched the lives of so many, and we are truly grateful. For your presence in our lives. As a daughter of the God of heaven, you have broken barriers and shattered stereotypes, proving that strength, wisdom, and spiritual guidance knows no gender. Your faithfulness and devotion to your calling inspires us all to reach higher, dream bigger, and embrace the power of God's love. On this special day, we pray that God continues to be kind to you. May his mercies speak for you always. May he increase your sound and greatness. Thank you, Ma, for being an incredible shepherd, a role model, and a source of inspiration to us. Your passion for kingdom shines through your every word and actions. We are blessed to have you as our pastor, and we look forward to many more years of your guidance and leadership. But if I give you counsel at all, this is the best one. Turn to the word of God. Open it and continue to read and continue to read. Buy a topical Bible. Sit with it. If your faith is challenged concerning money, sit with a topical Bible. Look at all the scriptures on money. Just sit with it and sit with it and sit with it and sit with it. The Bible says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among the people. Happy birthday, Pastor B. With love and gratitude, the volunteers at the World Voices International.